Hello, I'm Yasser Razi, Cloud Architect and Consensus. And I'm co-founder at Earth Learning and Microsoft Azure MVP and speaker. In this demonstration, I will create and access a Windows virtual machine using Azure Proxy. So first, go to Azure Proxy. Uh, choose Create Resource. In the search uh, uh, box above the list of Azure Marketplace resource, search for Windows Server Data Center. After locating the, locating the image, click Create. In the Basics uh, tab under Project Details, make sure the correct subscription is selected, and then choose to create a new resource group. Uh, type a new resource group for the name. In the instance uh, details, type my VM Windows for the virtual machine name and choose S US for your location. Leave the other default. Under uh, administrator account, uh, provide a username such as uh, user, user and password. The password must be at least 12 characters long and meet the defined complexity requirements. Under uh, uh, inbound port rules, choose allow selected port and then select RDP and HTTP from the drop down. Uh, and then click next. Leave uh, the mm, defaults and next. Leave uh, the defaults and move to the management tab. And under monitoring, turn off uh, boot diagnostics. This will eliminate uh, validation uh, errors. Leave the roaming defaults, uh, rom roaming defaults, and then select the review and create. Wait for the validation, validation, and then create. Click create. And click go to resource. Uh, create a remote desktop connection to the virtual machines. These uh, directions tell you how to connect to your VM from a Windows computer. On a Mac, you need to install an RDP client from the Mac App Store. Select the, co uh, the connect button. On the virtual machine properties page. In the connect to the virtual machine page, uh, keep the default option to connect by uh, uh, to connect uh, to connect uh, by DNS name over uh, port and click download RDP file. Open the down downloaded RDP file and select connect okay in the uh, i will enter user user and password in the windows 
security uh, windows window select more trip and then use a different account type the username uh, username and password you created for the virtual machine and then select ok you may receive a, a certificate warning during the sign sign in process select yes and to continue the connection